Hi! In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Melodyne inside of Mixcraft Pro Studio. Keep in mind that Melodyne is only included with the Pro Studio edition of Mixcraft, so if you own the Recording Studio edition, you'll need to upgrade in order to access Melodyne. Melodyne is an incredibly powerful pitch correction and audio editing tool that's used on monophonic audio sources, typically vocals. In order to spare your ears the pain of my own vocal performances, I've grabbed a couple samples here to create a vocal line for this track. Before we begin using Melodyne, let's take a listen to the vocal lines here and see what we'll be working with today. In this video, we'll be using the features of Melodyne to tune this vocal as well as change the vocal performance itself by retiming it and changing the notes. To begin using Melodyne, we'll double click on the vocal part here. Then, in the audio editor here, we can click Melodyne. This will open the Melodyne interface. We can go ahead and expand this to see it a bit better. Within Melodyne, the vocal is displayed as these orange blobs here, and you'll see that these correspond to different notes. If you take a closer look with these white and gray lines, this is actually a piano roll here, so this corresponds to the musical notes on a piano. Before you begin, it's a good idea to go up to the top and make sure that you're on clip editing mode here. More often than not, you won't need to use the track mode or note assignment mode, so just make sure you're on clip mode. The tools in Melodyne are broken up into three parts. The main tool, which is context and position sensitive, which we'll demonstrate in a moment. The scroll tool, which allows you to click and grab and scroll around. And the zoom tool, which we can use to zoom in and out horizontally and vertically. If we switch back to the main tool here, you'll notice that when we hover over these blobs, depending on the cursor's position, the function will change. If we click and hold, we can drag notes up and down. We can also double click to split them. We can click on the ends and drag them to retime them, and a lot more. In this case, all we really want to do is pitch correct the vocal to make it a bit more in key, as some of these notes aren't in the key. To enable the scale view on the left hand side if you don't see it, you can go to the options, and Scale Editor and then click Selection Master Tuning. Melodyne should automatically detect the correct scale for the song, in this case it's in G-sharp minor. However, if you need to change this, you can click on any note and then select a scale. If we have nothing selected and go to the Correct Pitch macro, this will correct all of our notes at once. Pitch Center will move a note onto the exact note. If you take a look over here, you'll notice that these are the same note, but they're slightly in and out of tune of each other. If we click and drag this up to 100%, this flattens out the performance to be perfectly in tune. Pitch Drift will remove any drift in pitch over time. If we drag this all the way up, you'll notice that these lines become much more flat and stable. Since we've also indicated the key, we can check the box to Snap to G-sharp minor. This will make sure that all the notes that are corrected are snapped into the correct key. You may need to experiment with the center and drift values just to make sure that things sound natural. If you go all the way up to 100%, in some cases this can provide very unnatural and robotic results. Since this is an electronic style track though, that's a bit more acceptable, and we can hit OK. Now let's go back and take another listen to the pitch corrected performance. We've now corrected the performance to be in the correct scale, but some of the notes maybe sound a bit weird. We can manually correct these by clicking and dragging these notes. To make sure our corrections are in the right scale, another handy feature to know about is to go to Options, and in Pitch Grid, make sure you have Scale Snap selected. This will ensure that any changes we make snap to the correct scale. Let's begin by moving this note up. Now let's go back and take a listen to our correction. That sounds much better. Let's go to the end here and correct this vocal performance. In this case, this note could go down. Let's try that out. In this case, I'd like the note to be up here on F, but F is actually not in the key of G sharp minor. To manually correct this, we can hold on Alt and then click and drag this note up. Here in the top, we can see we've moved this to the note F4 with a fine-tuned value of plus 16 cents. To make sure this is exactly in tune, we can double-click here and enter 0. That way, this is exactly on the correct note. Let's go back and take another listen. Listen. 
Finally, I'd like to move this ending note up. Let's go back and check out the final result. Another great feature of Melodyne is the ability to quantize a vocal performance. Once again, we'll make sure we have nothing selected and go up here to the top and use the quantize time macro. Here, we can select a groove reference, which is much like selecting a regular quantization value. I'm just going to leave this on auto. Then, we can adjust the intensity of the time correction. I'll bring this up to about 90%. Now, if we take another look at the vocal, you'll see that it's been time corrected to be much more in time with the beat. This is really handy to use, especially on stacked vocal parts where you want things to line up precisely. Now that we've pitch and time corrected the vocal, let's go back to the beginning and take another listen. That sounds much better. To quickly preview the changes you've made to make sure they're correct, you can use this button up here in the top left, which is the compare button. As you can see, Melodyne has now been grayed out, and you can take a listen to the original unaltered performance. Then we can quickly re-enable it to check our corrected performance once more. If you need to reset your changes for an individual note or a group of notes, you can click and drag to highlight multiple notes or click on a single note. From there, you can right click and go to reset individual edits. From here, you can reset your pitch changes, the pitch center, modulation, drift, or timing. Melodyne is a great feature to know about inside of Mixcraft Pro Studio and makes tuning and timing your vocals easier than ever. Now that we've finished correcting and editing the vocals, we can scale this window back down, return to the editor view, and continue working on our song as needed. At this point, you should have a good understanding of how to use Melodyne to pitch and time correct your vocal performances. And that does it for this video, so thanks for watching.